Hi, good day. Hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved. And if not, know that I love you. And I don't just say that. I actually mean it. <laughs> I have to pre preface that. Okay, all the readings are, the personal readings are completed. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Okay, so I am just... I was not going to do a reading today because I was going to take a break, but they were telling me over and over and over and over <laughs> that I needed to do a reading, that somebody needed to hear something. So I don't know who that is, but um, this is what we're doing. Okay. So what do you want to tell Divine Feminine? This is like messages from spirit. I don't, they really wanted to get some messages out. So what is going on? What did you want to tell Divine Feminine? Fertility. This is plant your seeds. Okay. So this is fresh ideas, manifest, grow, plant your seeds. What do you want to create at this time? Yep. Divine Feminine. You need to tap into your Divine Feminine energy. Or you could be tapped into your divine feminine energy, okay? They want you to know that this is part of your divine feminine energy is creativity. So if you're feeling blocked with creating something or moving forward, that means that your sacral chakra is probably blocked. So you need to work on clearing that, okay? Your sacral chakra does... Uh, I just saw 144 on the timer. Your sacral chakra being blocked would will cause depression, lower sex drive, um, cramping, anything below the navel, okay, front and back is sacral chakra. So constipation, you know, irritable bowels. Um, like I said, all of those things, okay? So try to clear... If you're having issues, clear that, listen to YouTube frequencies, clearing sacral chakra, um, and eat. The, so the sacral chakra is orange, so eat anything orange, fruit, and vegetable-wise, okay? Um, I had mango. I know mango is like between yellow and orange, but it does clear the sacral chakra because I was having issues with mine, and mango, I love mango, and it cleared it. So I think I listened to a guided meditation twice. <laughs> I find that eating um, to clear your chakra is much more potent and quick as opposed to the frequencies. The frequencies do work, but they just take longer. So, ah. And if you're having a hard time collect, uh, collecting, connecting to your intuition, that could mean your crown chakra is blocked. Okay. So someone is experiencing a loss of a marriage. Okay. Or feeling loss after I feel like this is someone has left a marriage. Okay. Or is in the process of leaving a marriage. This is having to discover, this card literally says discovering your true self again. Okay. Because sometimes if not all the time when we're married, we get caught up in who we are with that person, right? And if that person is not meant for us, most of the time we live from a place of ego. I've done it. Uh, so because what happens is when we're in an unhealthy relationship or in a relationship with an unconscious person, that kind of rubs off on us, right? So then it kind of makes us shift back into ego because when you're conscious, you can shift back into ego and kind of turn off your third eye, okay? I can shut my third eye off um, at will. It took some time, but I can do it, okay? So when you are constantly remaining in a place of ego, you've just, you've literally shut the door on source, okay? So you have to find who you are as a conscious human, right? As a conscious person. Okay. What does that look like? Who are you? What do you like? Okay. This is a message for some. This is an offer. An offer could be coming in. This is a union. This says rejoice in union, engagement, gesture. Could be, an, it could be for some of you who are not connected to anybody. This is, could be just a gesture. 
like someone could offer you something um even if it's like a flower or i'm seeing like a lunch date or a brunch take it spirit wants you to take it and that's funny because when i was sh when i first started shuffling that deck i saw the yes so if somebody asks you to go on a date or a brunch or something like that spirit saying yes take it okay sometimes we just need that that disconnect right and just connecting with someone just to have a conversation <laughs> okay oh confirmation <laughs> someone just messaged me and they said typical so i find that funny that could be a message for some of you <laughs> Okay, what does uh, Divine Masculine want to say to Divine Feminine at this time? These are the messages cards, so. My heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you've lost faith in me. Wow. I want to build, oh, I was going to say I want to build with you again, but that could be a message for some of you. What it actually says is I want to hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine. This is someone who loves hugging you, wanting to feel you connect. I worry that you've moved on and this is all in my head. Is it? Do you still think about me? We were too different. That's why I'm with someone similar. So this is definitely someone who is with a karmic. <clears throat> And what they mean, what I always take from that card is why I'm with someone similar, not a conscious person, but clearly divine masculine is not living in their, I mean, they could be living intuitively, but this person that they're with is not their counterpart, is not their intuitive match. So um, this person probably feeds their ego and this is what they mean. Like I'm with someone more similar to me. Yeah. Who wears the same mask, period. That's what it is at the end of the day. <clears throat> okay so now let's look at divine masculine uh what do you want to say to divine masculine spirit what do you want to say to divine masculine inner child so you need to embrace your inner child at this time and be playful happy enjoy the present practice mindfulness gratitude live life to the fullest okay whatever that looks like for you whatever makes you happy there is a lesson in this situation okay whatever situation this may be can you clarify this situation oh it involves your free will action cannot be forced so there's a lesson in regards to your free will okay choices decisions that you've made contact and inaction inaction is here as well so there's a lesson in taking action and not taking action towards something and what is that towards wow towards surrender there is a lesson that you need to see at this time. You could have gotten clarity or you may get clarity very soon. There's a lesson in you not surrendering. What is the lesson? Spirit is wanting you to look at the lesson. Do you feel more like your inner child, your childlike self, when you just free fall and surrender to source? And you're like, you know what? I'm going to surrender to the divine. I'm going to surrender to my destiny. I'm going to surrender to my intuition. And I'm just going to let it all go and see what stays. When you don't do that, what happens? Oh, 
you need to be journaling about this. You need to be journaling about your experiences, about what happens when you, wow, I just heard when you listen to your intuition as opposed to your ego. So when you listen to your intuition, the spirit is saying you feel happy, you feel grateful, you feel abundant, you feel alive. But when you listen to your ego, you feel depressed, you feel restricted, you feel stuck, you feel hopeless. Those are the messages that spirit is telling me to tell you. That's very sad. So spirit wants you to write this down and contemplate. This says contemplate. What life are you going to choose to live? <clears throat> um. <clears throat> right? What are you going to create? Bring out the greatness within. You are greatness. You have greatness. And that greatness is achieved through love. Your twin appreciates you. Your twin is grateful. See the blessings in your life. Decide what you really want. You're multitasking right now. It's like you're on autopilot. Okay. I just saw 1133 on the timer. You may want to look up what that angel number is, but that's important. Split energy. Decide what you really want. You're unfocused because you're multitasking and you're scattered. Your energy is scattered over a bunch of things. So you're not focused. Spirit is saying you need to focus on what you really want. So what is that? Community. You want friendship. You want family. You want friends. You want fun, a light heart. You want union with your twin. Wow. You could be feeling rejected. This says rejection. I feel like you're in a chaser energy. You may feel rejected at this time. Why does you feel rejected because of a marriage? And because of societal contracts. Right. And I feel like this is also you also as well, like a part of you, which makes sense because <laughs> Divine Feminine is a part of you, right? So some of you, I feel like Divine Feminine is the bird and you're the boy. You're like, wait a second. Don't go without me. Don't leave me here. I want to come with you, but what's holding you back is societal constraints. And you are denying your true feelings. This is a card about rejection as well. What is Divine Masculine denying that you feel abandoned? You feel abandoned, but you're denying it. And you are holding on to this marriage because if you let this marriage go, you are going to feel abandoned. Even though you go, even though you're going to go towards your twin, you're still going to feel abandoned. And I don't think you want to feel that. This may be a marriage that has lasted for a while and you just don't want to let it go because you may not, you may not know who you are without this person. Right. Unawakened because you are in the darkness, but that's just it. Wow. Unawakened and awakening. You're in the darkness with your spouse, with this person, with your twin, you're awakened. So which path are you going to choose? Basically is the question. Are you going to stay in the dark or are you going to choose a conscious connection?
That's the choice. Patience, perseverance, peace. Trust that the divine knows when. So I feel like this message is you don't have to like have a set time frame, frame on when this is going to happen or you don't need to know because that's not your job. Your job is just to make the decision. It's up to spirit's job. It's spirit that's going to tell you when it's time. Okay. They want you to rise above all obstacles right now. <clears throat> because in your heart, you already said it's already shown what you really want in these cards. And it said union. But you're holding on to that ego. This is like, you know, not wanting to an uh, ego death, right? Not wanting to go through that ego death. Because you're scared of losing yourself. I've been through that. I know what that feels like. Okay. You feel out in the cold. Why does Divine Masculine feel out in the cold? So you may feel lonely and abandoned right now. I told you. Because you feel alone. Why? Why does Divine Masculine feel alone, though? This is meant, you are meant to feel this way. That's what Spirit is saying. You're supposed to feel this way. Because you have blessings that are trying to come in, but I guess you have been, what, it, what Spirit is saying is you have been comfortable living in that darkness for so long that you're blocking your own blessings. And Spirit is like, no, tower, make them feel what it's going to feel like if they do not choose their intuition, if they do not choose their destiny. You're going to feel like this forever, forever. Your guides are always with you. You're going to feel a loss forever. You're going to feel a loss. <clears throat> I just heard, why do I have to choose her? Oh, that's what I just heard somebody saying that. But why do I have to choose her? This is someone who has control issues. <laughs> no. <laughs> No what, spirit? No community. Because I feel like who you're actually choosing is not your community. So because you have to choose her because you won't have community or creativity. Because she feeds your soul. Same with Divine Masculine. You do the same for Divine Femme. All right. You guys love each other's inner child. So what is the point of union, basically, is what this Divine Masculine is saying. What is the point of union? Why does this have to be? Because this is a new opportunity, and they want you to release the past. This is a fresh start. This is a lesson. This is mirroring. This is knowledge and understanding what you're here to do, mirroring. This is twin. This is wholeness. Synchronicity abounds. This is wholeness. This is it. This is the reason. Because you are a split soul that needs to come back together. Because you are unaware of something, darkness. If you do not come back together, if you do not come back together and become back a whole, you will be stuck in darkness. In some kind of belief system that does not serve you. Because that's not who you are. Union. There's fear here about a karmic partner, about you leaving a karmic partner. What's the fear about this person leaving a karmic partner? Like you do not, whoever this is, does not want to let go of this karmic partner. This is your ego, they're saying. Pride, jealousy. 
you could be worried about what your person is going to do, like what that karmic person is going to do when they get in their ego. It doesn't matter. Your feminine is seeking you. Compromise. Because it's time to receive abundance. So compromise with the karmic. What messages does Divine Feminine want to tell the Divine Masculine? You need to compromise with the karmic, okay? Can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me again with your heart? My heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. I still feel deeply connected to you, but I won't admit it. What do you want to tell the divine masculine about his fear of not choosing or his fear of leaving the karmic? What do you want to tell this divine masculine, divine feminine? about the situation. Five twenty eight is significant, so I'm gonna look that up. I wanna hold you again. I need to feel your body next to mine so you both are mirroring each other. I wasn't honest with you about my feelings at the time. I want you to see the real me now. I've been hiding from our love for too long. You may not even know. So Divine Feminine is basically saying like you may not even really know who she is. You two could be much more compatible than what you may even realize, okay? I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. <laughs> okay, little stalker. <laughs> okay. So, 528 means a reunion with your twin flame is on the horizon, Okay, and it also means that you are going to embark on a new journey with your twin. Okay, so what do you want to say about this? They want me to use a different deck. What do you want to say about this spirit, about this 528 angel number? <laughs> Union, told you. Somebody, I feel like, is going to have the courage to change very soon, whereas before they were in a place of doubt and lack, but I don't feel like this person is going to be in this place much longer. I feel like they are reaching really down and deep to forgive, okay, and they're doing a good job of that, and I feel like they don't want to be in a place of regret, okay, okay. Yeah, so this is faded. This is faded. This connection is going to happen regardless. Yeah. And this storm is going to happen. So take care of yourself during this time. Listen to your intuition. You could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're going into a separation. You're trying to control the conflict, though. But this is going to happen regardless. Focus on a love offer here that is here because this is going to be very healing for you. You're trying to avoid this healing though. <sighs> this person is so stubborn, so stubborn. There is something being reflected by your twin about a decision that was made and about what you're creating. So what will these two be creating? And the fall time is significant. I definitely feel like for some, this is going to come together in the fall, just like it did last year with one set of twins. It was just one set, but it happened. So this is a third party, a decision made about a third party. Yep. And about ending a karmic cycle. 
for sure. Yep, this is going to be a renewal. This is going to be a karmic cycle that has ended. Yep, Saturn, Satan, this Saturn represents karmic cycles. That's why Saturn is on this card. Some people have already heard of that. Others may not know about that, but yes, Saturn is <laughs> a planet of karma, <laughs> okay? I don't know if, if a lot of you have looked at... Um, Taylor Swift's new uh, video, Karma, right? And they loop their, uh, have rope and they wrap it around Saturn. That's why, okay? They're talking about light and dark in that video, okay? Low vibe, high vibe. The karmic cycle. Our purpose is to break free of that karmic cycle and to end the karmic cycle, right? End the karmic cycle. <laughs> yes, the sun, Leo energy. It's going to take a lot of strength for us to do that, but we're going to do it. Do not be deceived because it's here. What do you want to say about deception? Deception is ego. So deception is, you see this? This is a block. Deception and temptation is going to try to block you from your purpose. Oh, some of you can be falling ill to temptation. <sighs> Not ill, but I mean, so ill. Clarify the temptation. This is ego right here. Yeah, some of you are being tempted by a masculine who is a karmic. They may be saying, oh, I want to be with you. I want to form a solid foundation. But you already know the truth. And your ancestors are here trying to tell you, hey, they're using sex. Mm. What do you want to say about the purpose? Your purpose is union, period. Get out of your ego. <laughs> they don't give a shit. Spirit is saying I don't give a shit about none of this. About none of this here. None of this here. Your purpose is union. You have a bigger job to do. We don't give a shit about none of this. <laughs> Spirit is like angry. angry at this person that keeps yeah, told you they're angry at this third party that keeps trying to interfere in this union you know what happens when people try to interfere in a union this is a fallen divine masculine trying to interfere told you that is trying to interfere in a union this person is going to get bad karma they're they're not playing any games with this person this person is saying we'll be together one day no you can't you can never be with this person again, whoever this is. Somebody's karmic is a fallen divine masculine, so he failed, okay? He failed his mission. It's a trap. This person is trying to trap you. Probably trying to trap you in this karmic cycle, because what happens? What happens if you stay with a fallen divine masculine or a fallen divine feminine what happens what's the trap karmic cycle reincarnation it's a trap you're not supposed to reincarnate you're supposed to ascend and go into union with your twin at least this is this person whoever people i'm picking up on are supposed to go into union in this lifetime this fallen divine masculine is trying to trap you into reincarnation so that you can come back again and you guys can do this all over again and he can chase you. Unblock all your chakras. Forgive me, devil. No, we're not. You could be a Capricorn female and this person is saying forgive me for basically fallen. Well, 
Anything you want to say about this uh, fallen divine masculine that keeps trying to come in? This person is obsessed with you. This person is effing obsessed. This is not your freaking counterpart. <sighs> you know who your counterpart is. And you know who somebody that is just obsessed with you. Because you're not going to have that spiritual connection. Someone who just has an obsessed nature and is just obsessed to you, you're not going to have a, a spiritual union or a spiritual um, connection with this person. Okay? You're going to feel like something is off. That's because it's not a conscious connection. They're just literally just obsessed. That's it. Exactly. You're going to feel like something is not right because your soul knows that it wants to go towards freedom. It doesn't want to be trapped here again. You could be a Virgo that deserves a healthy relationship with your twin who loves you unconditionally and they're saying, I'm sorry. You guys, too, have been together for a long time, okay? Or has been, I don't know why I said that, but you two have um, been together and been through a lot, okay? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Yes, you've had a, many past lives together, okay? Um, and you're getting good karma right now. This person is attached to a fallen divine feminine. So you guys are definitely mirroring each other. Your twin needs to unblock all their chakras and they are connected with a fallen divine feminine. So your, your person, your karmic is a fallen twin and so is theirs. Wow. So you two are both connected to people who had divine ranking at one point and just effed up their whole mission. They effed up their whole mission. I don't know what they did. Yeah, and they're going to get bad karma. I don't know what they did. I feel like in order to fall, you have to really do something heinous. To be honest, and refuse healing. A baby boy could be significant that is an earth angel or was an earth angel. Someone is lying or has said so many lies about something. Something could have happened to a child that was an earth angel. Remember, I just said someone had to do something heinous. I am just saying something happened to someone's child here or a child. And um, you may regret this or this person may regret this, but it's too late. Your third eye is blocked because of what happened with this child who was an earth angel. Wow, this is nuts. You will never awaken. So these two karmics will never awaken because uh, remember, I remember a long time ago, I said a fallen divine masculine will be disconnected from source. You are. You're just, this is a fallen divine masculine, fallen divine feminine whose third eye is blocked because of something that they have done. Whether you know what they did or not, <clears throat> they're disconnected from source. And they will never get their sight back because of this. Okay, I'll always find you. This feels like demonic energy now because their third eye is blocked. No one else can have you. Told you. That's just... You could be married to this person, Taurus. They could have been, they they may have were meant to be a Hierophant energy, but they effed it up, okay? The only thing they're going to be able to connect with is darkness now. So that's low vibe energy, right? They may think that they're listening to their intuition, but it's not their intuition that they're listening to. <clears throat> I'll get you back at any cost. 
you always come back to me. I pay people to follow you. Bring out the best in you. You don't bring out the best in her. Your heart chakra is blocked, my boy. <laughs> and she's unavailable. She is going to block her. Or maybe this is why. Maybe. I said maybe. That's why her. <clears throat> this could be why your sacral chakra is blocked. Because you're not meant to have sex with this person. Told you. They don't deserve you. Mm -mm. <clears throat> mm -mm. Uh -uh. Somebody's going to be worried about a child, but anything you want to say about the child that was hurt or anything like this? It says baby boy. I feel like it was a baby. Yeah. I feel like it was a baby. Okay. A baby. An actual baby. So, could have been like a, a, a loss of a child through miscarriage or something like that. Maybe through physical abuse. I'm getting something like that. Okay. Unblock all chakras, bad karma. I told you they're getting bad karma for whatever they did to this child. You could have been on vacation together. This has some... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. For others of you, Spirit is saying they didn't harm a child. For others of you, this is for Divine Masculine, okay? It could be for Divine Feminine. You know the story, right? They're not really telling me, but for others of you, somebody had a child when they were connected. Okay, this is a lot to unpack. Spirit is saying somebody's going to get effing bad karma because of a baby boy that was conceived in a marriage because they cheated and they had a child with a fallen divine feminine that's a boy because they cheated and another story I'm getting is that it was a fallen divine feminine a karmic that cheated and had a son and they're saying I'm sorry whoa whoa what do you want to say about this spirit so there's a there's a few different stories here. Stop worrying though. Okay? There's nothing to worry about spirit is saying. There's nothing to worry about. And why don't they have anything to worry about? Cuz the fallen divine masculine is going to be stuck. They're not going to be able to move, spirit is saying. Okay? They're going to have legal problems. They're depressed. But this is faded. Okay. They're also stressed about money. Okay. They don't know what the hell they're doing in their life. Confusion. That's why. Okay. Okay. And any last messages before I leave? I'll get you back at any cost. You're going to get good karma. Their heart chakra is blocked. Don't even worry about it. Remember, it's a trap. You can't be with this person. Remain faithful to your destiny with your twin, the emperor. Wow. This person could be a Pisces. Your twin could be a Pisces. I'm healing so I can be my best for you. Okay. Or you could be a Pisces. Or your person, your twin could have Pisces in their chart. Or they could be, what did I say? A North Node Pisces. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's see what you need to focus on at this time. What does Divine Feminine need to be focused on at this time today? Taking care of yourself. Self-care. Stop doubting your journey. Stop doubting your journey. You feel rejected. So this comes in. You start, you start going off the beaten path. I just heard. 
that's for somebody. You start going off the beaten path, truth. You start going off the beaten path when you feel rejected. And then you start doubting. No, don't do that. Spirit is saying, spirit is saying, just express how you feel and listen to your intuition. You know better. Yes. Okay. You know better, I heard, I'm hearing. You know better. Don't go back to a karmic you know better. Remain high vibe. And what messages, what should the divine masculine be focusing on today? What should divine masculine? So this is memories. This is memories, nostalgia. Remember how you felt when you were with your person or um, they're saying when you think of true love, who do you think about? Are you going to do this forever? That's right. Because you may feel reject. Wow, you guys are mirroring each other or you're doing this to each other. So you're feeling rejected as well. I just heard, why am I not enough? Wow, confirmation. I don't even know what that was. It says what's going on in your neighborhood. Someone could maybe not live in a nice neighborhood or I don't want to say not nice, but you know what I mean, not a safe neighborhood. And this makes them feel like they're not enough. Something is faded though. That's going to bring in stability. So you need to focus on your stability. What is faded? Something is coming in fall, and I keep seeing this, again, just like I did last year. Because somebody's going into a separation. What's happening in the fall? You could be separating in the fall. Yeah, you're done living in a place of regret, and you're going to be going into a place of nurturing and compassionate energy. Yep, this is definitely a divorce. <clears throat> yep, and you're planning something new. Yeah, because you're taking action. So there's a lot of courage here, and you've made a decision. So what are they going to be focused on from now until the fall? That's not really that much of a time, but, I mean, you're going to be focusing on why you're being limited, why you're so scared to move. This is someone is so, like, deathly afraid to make a decision. So for the next three months or so, right, because we're going into June, so June, July, August, that's around September. I feel like it's going to be around September um, because I saw 928 today. Um, I've been seeing 928 a lot, so that feels significant, September 28th. Um, Somebody is going to really be taking the next three months to really work through why they're so scared. Or maybe this is what you need to be doing. You're so scared. Yeah. This is a masculine is so scared. They just rather have a third party. They're so scared to express their truth and to heal. This is someone who's an overthinker. You need to take care of yourself. Like... What are they so f afraid of? They're definitely afraid, perhaps, of being in debt. Storm. They're definitely afraid of what's going to happen if they get a divorce, like how this is going to end. They're definitely afraid of the storm, how this is going to end, how this is going to look, what is going to happen. Your ancestors are here, though. And that's your ego. So you need to get out of your ego. Okay. Mm, there's some clarity here you're not seeing because you're not intuitively connected. And it's about you keep thinking about the past. Like get out of the damn past. This is a toxic pattern. Trust in divine timing as well. Stop resisting. Doing shadow work. There's a lot of guilt. Someone has a... This feels like martyr energy to me, right? Like, you know what? I'm just going to live this life just so I don't have to feel guilty. 
like something about guilt. You don't want to sabotage something here. You don't want to hurt people here. Well, people don't have a problem hurting you. All right, you're avoiding this. They're saying surrender. Again, surrender is here. Surrender to the messages that you are receiving about a water sign or about your own emotion. This could be you. This is about a change. You're an air sign as well. That needs to focus on closing out cycles. Pluto is here. You are mirroring your twin. Or something is being reflected. Your twin has done something that you need to do as well. Okay. Any message about that? What has the twin, what has Divine Masculine's twin done that they need to do? <laughs> I just heard elevate, healing. Yeah, closing out cycles, ending karmic cycles. Right, elevate, elevate your frequency, your vibe, because it ain't it. Right, rejoicing in your union. So your twin is like looking forward to union. They're looking forward to an offer. Told you. They know it's coming. Your twin is highly intuitive, highly connected. They know it's coming. They're just like, okay, well, I'll be here. Love you. <laughs> I know it's coming. Hate to tell you. This is going to hurt like hell. They know it's coming because... It's their birthright. It's your twin's birthright. And it's yours as well. But there have been people trying to block and steal your birthright. Alright. What is this couple's... What are these couple's uh, birthrights? This is like abundance. Um, told you. Can't make it up. Unexpected income. What are these twins birthright? Somebody stole it. I told you. These are the karmics. Wow. What's flipped over here? Yep. They put it you in poverty. In lack. Somebody has stolen your, your unexpected income. Your divine birthright. Mm -hmm. divine birthright right and now everything is going to be corrected told you this is coming regardless because divine feminines have done their work they've already lived in the despair right so how does the karmic cycle how did how do the wheels turn that's what i just heard the wheels are turning the wheels are turning justice is being served it's time for everybody who stole divine feminine was in despair now it's their turn the thieves turn to be in despair you get what i'm saying their turn to get unexpected income told you you can't make it up and this is 7-eleven that's union told you change 9-eleven as well <coughs> change lovers privileged lady divine feminine you worked hard enough you've done your you've paid your dues you've paid your debt you've balanced out your karma now it's time to get the work to get what you are owed is what i'm hearing wow <clears throat> and what about divine masculine I mean, you're going to be with her, so you're going to get the same, right? This is your gift. Divine Feminine is your gift for putting up with a false person's bullshit. <laughs> right. This person was a main female. This is in reverse. Right. So something is being... 
reverse, something was in reverse, something is being corrected. 82 and 28 could be significant. 82 was the wrong, 28 is the right. That is... <laughs> Toil and labor, and now the divine, not the divine, but the karmic person will now have to do toil and labor. So this seems like, you know... Whatever is going on. So this is like the wheel, basically. Divine Feminine incarnated into a rough life, into hard times, and worked through their karma in the beginning of their lifetime. This false person had a chance to do what was right, but never did. She could have maintained, I feel like, this person's uh, status, I guess. But um, she didn't do the work. Same thing with the false divine masculine, right? I feel like they could have been in those positions, but they neither one of them did the work. So basically divine feminine and divine masculine have already suffered through hard times. They've already worked. They had hard childhoods. They already had to deal with all of that, right? So now it's time they've done the work. They've put in the work. Now it's time to re reap the benefits of their work. That's what I'm seeing. Right. They now have become official people through what they've accomplished, through what they've done. An official person could actually have given somebody a message in regards to this couple or to one of the people um, in this union that somebody or something is going to be stopped. Who's going to be stopped and imprisoned? Somebody is going to be stopped. It could be a rat. A rat. What's the child? So a main male that has a child is going to be stopped. What about the child? The child is a great fortune. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> the child is a, is a great fortune or is going to get a great fortune. <coughs> For some of you, for some of you, the divine feminine is the child. You, somebody's being stopped for what they did to a divine feminine as a child as well. Like, you could have known... <clears throat> The karmic fallen divine masculine could have known this divine feminine as a child. Somebody could have also told them. You got, this could be, yeah, this is definitely, you could have a child. You, they could have told divine, the fallen divine masculine as a child. You're going to get married, have a house, and have high honor with this woman. They were told this by a mature woman. For some of you, Divine Masculine could have been told this by a mature woman. That they may have married a karmic and then this karmic will be stopped. Somebody knows something already. Yep, they knew about this courtship long before you did. They knew who you were. They knew who you were. Who knew? The community knew. Wow. A living room is significant as well. So, I think there's a community of people that is connected to Divine Masculine, that knows who this Divine Feminine is, but I don't think Divine Feminine knows who she is, actually.
But there's a community that knows who she is and knows what's coming. That is great blessings. Yep, they know about this relationship that's coming together. There's a whole community that knows. Yep, told you. Epiphany. They know all about this. Why or how? This could be a spiritual community. This could be a family, someone's family. A storm, thunder, and lightning is significant. Maybe they knew who one of your parents were. They knew who you were as a child. They could do mirror magic. Somebody could do somebody could do scrying or mirror magic and got a premonition about you and knew what you looked like. They knew who you were. They knew who you were. Wow. Yep, that's a yes. Told you. Clarity. They knew. They saw you. And they knew you were going to have to go through a rebirth to gain your trust or to gain your trust. Wow. Yeah. They knew you were going to have to go through a rebirth to gain your strength. And they trusted in the divine timing. They knew when you awakened. They need you to remember, though. They're waiting on you to remember who you are. Mm -hmm. This is why they kept their distance, because they're just, like, biding their time. Right. <clears throat> they know that this karmic situation will end. That this is part of the journey. So when Divine Feminine actually awakens to who she is, then what? She will forgive everyone involved. She will create self-love. She will make a decision. Which I feel like about an air sign. She knows that's her freedom, and that's her abundance. That's her twin. Mm. Whereas before, she resisted this person because she resisted her own purpose. But the scales will be balanced. Karmic justice. Okay. 